thank you to Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. for sponsoring this video. Now, before we get started, I have a surprise for you. A surprise that some of you may not care about and say, where is my reactions, anime man? Hold up. If you don't care about this sponsored bit, but you'd like to support me, try to pursue this YouTube thing full time, check out the comments. The pinned comment will say discount code KAKA. $5 off for your first purchase from Tokyo Treat and Sakura. Okay, that's right. We have a milestone in our channel. Our first sponsorship on YouTube. Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. were nice enough to send us free packages for us to check out. For those of you that don't know what they are about, they basically want to invite everyone to experience Japan from the comfort of their own home through the snack box. Tokyo Treat is a monthly pop Japanese snack subscription box. You'll get up to 20 of exclusive limited edition and seasonal flavor Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time. Sakuraku, on the other hand, is a monthly authentic Japanese snack subscription box that supports local Japanese snack makers. Each box comes with 20 traditional, authentic, and artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and a special Japanese tableware. These gift boxes all have a monthly theme that rotates. For example, the ones that I've been given are for the Valentine's themes coming up in a couple of days. I know you guys all got girlfriends and boyfriends, right? So surely it'll make great gifts. All right, let's check out the red Valentine's theme from Tokyo Treat that we got. And look at all these different snacks. My favorite one probably is the pink Kit Kat one so far. There's the other one too. It's like a fish one. Where is it? Where is it? Not this one. Not this one. The drink is pretty good too. Not this. Wait, hold. Hold. Yeah, that one, that one, that one, that one. That was really good. That was noodles are good too. And the box at the very end. While Tokyo Treat focuses a little bit more on the snack side, Sakura Co. is unique in the sense that it partnered up with the Hiroshima government to bring a unique box of delicacies and cultural treasures. Emphasis on cultural treasures. Probably the highlight of this box is the artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and the special Japanese tableware. Remember, these guys are all about the local business. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you're still here, I applaud you with everything I got because let's get serious. Who gives a, you know, about sponsor segment? If I click on a YouTube video and I see a sponsor of that, I skip. I ain't nobody got time for your Raid Shadow Legends code. However, if you're still here, and if you'd like to support this small channel, we've recently been growing at a pretty decent rate. I was even able to hire an editor thanks to all the growth and the support that you guys have given me. And this goal of pursuing content creation full time feels a little bit more realistic. And sponsorships like this, the fact that I'm able, able to secure them despite being a man child just watching anime in my empty apartment just yelling at a mic. This is a huge milestone for me. And if you guys actually would like to get a gift for your loved ones, February's coming up, Valentine's coming, you know what that means? My Giga Chat community members surely has a bunch of girlfriends and boyfriends that would appreciate a gift. So even if this doesn't interest you personally, I think they make for great gifts. Now, use the discount code KAKA for $5 off of your first purchase. And now let's get back to our regular scheduled content. <laughs> Mm, more Arya. Mm. I still think Arya is the best. Mm. Wait, 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 wait. You really are level headed all the time. Has Rista really spent more time with Seiya? Because my theory is that Seiya is the previous hero that failed upon Ar when Arya was summoned him, right? And he forgot all the memories. So I feel like this moment where Arya kind of is in shock after this statement, right? Look, look, look. Mm. Let's deflect. What did Mash learn now? Oh! Partial transformation! Oh, okay, okay. But what about Eduru? What about Eduru? That's kind of mean. That's kind of really mean. That's also very mean, Eduru. <laughs> this skill is called laughably large right hand. Even the skill is hitting on us, dude. 
I don't think you guys are appreciating this fan service right now, but I, I think um, Aria back fan service is a very sophisticated and classy fan service. Now, a lot of people, right, probably just see titties and they go, oh my god, fan service. But the sophisticated, classy, cultured gentlemen know that showing the back nape like this and the entire back uncovered like this, mm, this is why Aria has the best design. <laughs> Yeah, why are you talking like that? Why is he in slow motion? Editor, new skill? Editor, new skill? Oh. Okay, she, she's like, kind of useful. Okay. Really? So she, oh, Jesus Christ. So she could use delay on the flies then to slow them down? Now it's 2x. Okay, so there's delay and there's like fast forward. So basically the speed. Okay. okay. Delay and haste. And at least the uh, Edudu is actually kind of useful now. I was actually getting worried that Edudu wouldn't get anything. Because, you know, bad carrier. Does delay actually make you move faster though? Right? Or was that just a speaking pattern? Because if haste... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Haste. Does haste actually make him move faster? Because then we could use haste on, you know, Seiya. While using delay on the flies, and that would be just synergistic, right? Okay. Yes, Mitis is literally eating an apple like she's eating to Seiya's balls while she watches him train. Why? I mean, the way that she was eating the apple was kind of terrifying, I guess. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's stuck in the forest? Yeah, she, she's a nymphomaniac. Man, I'm, I, I'm not even reading the subtitles right now. I am not reading the subtitles. I'm sorry, guys. I am. Let's just appreciate this for three, two, one. Okay. Who abducted and sexually devour? She was eating that apple in a really suspicious way, huh? She was eating the apple in a really sus way. Okay. So... Until the last day. Explode? I wanna see this. What happened? He's out? This is another interesting mechanic. So like, we know that love between a goddess and a hero is forbidden, but like... If they're ever caught doing something like that... Like, you're just summoned back to Earth, memories cleansed? Huh. Interesting. You, going back to the theory that Arya is the one that summons Seiya, but no, no, Seiya actually failed the world. Unless Seiya and Arya actually fell in love and somehow that forbidden bond is the reason why that B-class dangered world failed. There's no way Arya is speaking from, like, you know, uh, experience, right? There's no way, right? <laughs> Relax! Where is Mitsu set? <laughs> Did she already try to make a move on him? Did she already try to make a move on him so he tied her up like this? Is this archery practice right there? Is she the target? What the fuck is going on? She told me I need to get ready so come over in 10 minutes so this is her. She's ready. She tied herself up. So does she want to be the target of the archery practice? Is that what she wants? <laughs> Final test, all right. Sure. Still training, guys. Still training. Okay. <laughs> so the plan is cut the ropes, catch, then make passionate love, and then get fucking banned. All right. That's the most booty cheeks we've ever gotten in anime, I think. Wow, they actually animated the booty cheeks, bro. Oh, it's moving too. There's a lot of motion back there. My rape, though! You see that? No, oh, wait. No! <laughs> so this is definitely thumbnail, right? So I'll basically take a screenshot of this and I'll kind of flip it upside down. <laughs> She's an infomaniac. <laughs> Ribido to the max! Ready perfectly. Ba -ba -bum. 
There we go. Just shoot the goddess instead. Oh. What? Headshot? Is, is 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 this a demon that invaded the 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 the, the, the goddess's realm? Are we being careful right now? Are we? Why? Is she dead? <laughs> okay, got out. She goddess is can't die. Goddess is can't die. What do you mean? This is bullseye. Oh! <laughs> Thank you for doing all the censorship for me. <laughs> this anime is super sus. Now there's no explicit nipples for me to get banned on, but holy shit, there's some scenes where it's super dangerous. <laughs> Mash, don't look! Editor, don't look! What is it going, dude? Oh. oh, this goes away. You're, you're gonna attack? You're gonna attack? <laughs> here, here comes the predator. Oh god. This girl is insane. <laughs> this girl is fucking insane. Every time she moves with her fucking kushi, dude, the fucking rainbow light moves with it. Whoa! <laughs> the perfect way. Oh! Okay, that is definitely thumbnail. I'm surprised that he's not shooting it in the other holes. Right now, we got our eyeballs in the mouth, but there's like other holes, you know? Three shot to shining arrow. Three shot to shining arrow. <laughs> Goddesses don't die. You, she's a fucking zombie. It's a demon! It's a fucking demon! Dude, she probably is a fucking demon lord, Kevin Lee Commander. I can't believe you just said that. You, you, you ain't no way you just admitted that. Oh god. Bash! I'll strip you naked in the first second. Oh yeah? Oh my whoa! 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 Did you see the way that she jumped here? <laughs> this episode's crazy. This episode's actually fucking insane. <laughs> Holy shit. It's still shining. It's still fucking shining, dude. <laughs> oh, God. There's no way. Is, is he actually going to shoot it in there? Is, 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 he, is, he actually, is, is it going to be two shots? One for the coochie. <laughs> one for the behind. No. Oh, no. Just for the titties. Still not going for the coochie. What about the coochie shining arrow? Oh my gosh, she's panting and she's moaning. <laughs> Being penetrated by something with such a length and girth. <laughs> okay. Edudu, don't worry about it. You, you, you don't need to know about girth or length, Edudu. You're 10 years too young for this. <laughs> oh, don't listen, kids. Don't listen, kids. The light, the flashlight is all, dude. The fucking flashlight is done. It's just a fucking black circle there now. But okay, memes aside, Mitis, Mitis could do like seven shots in a row, right? I think that was her limit. I think she shot like seven shots in a row, and that was like her thing. So the fact that Saya can do five shots in like a span of like one day or two days training, that's pretty impressive, right? Let's go. It's his signature line. Right, all right. I forgot what I forgot the plot. I forgot what we we're even fucking doing for a second. I was like, what are we doing right now? Holy shit, that's right. We gotta fucking save the human from the flies. Hello. Oh god. Blue her ghost probably gonna die. One hour training only. That's a couple days, you know, obviously in the other world. Here we go. So just use like delay on the flies and use haste on Seiya and just shoot them down. What? Oh god, here she goes. She's going in solo. She's a decoy for us. Oh, there's Bilbub again. Sogekingo. Wait, we're waiting? Whiff of the goddess scents that you produce. She's stinky? Goddesses have a certain, certain scent they exude? What, what, what does she smell like? <laughs> she, she does flaunt her armpits around all the time. What does she smell like? <laughs> that bad? Not enough to be concerned. Goddesses actually smell bad in this show? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Even Eruru? 
I'm kind of interested. What, what does she smell like? Bald. 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 Shut the fuck up. Oh, wait, he anticipated. All part of the plan still? It's still within his calculations? <laughs> she got taken. <laughs> Drop her. Let her die. Oh, 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 oh. What the fuck are we doing right now? Go and cause a diversion. Use yourself as bait? Alright. Risk the wing time. Nice day. The weather is so nice today. Do you come here often? Alright, here goes Rista. Oh, here we go. Soga King. Just fly Balloon Woman. Rista, he called you Balloon Woman. <laughs> nice day, isn't it? Yeah. No? No small talk? No, poor choice of wording. Don't let go of her. Honestly, I wouldn't feel too bad if the blue hair girl dies because she's kind of annoying. They're dead though. How do you apologize to people that's dead? We're getting ready. We're getting ready. Oh, did she just fucking leak? Oh, this fucking blue girl just keeps ruining everything. Still according to calculations. Still according to her plans, I hope. I mean, Seiya can fly. He can fly too. Holy shit. Seiya. Uh, there's a line. <laughs> yeah, nice weather. She's buying time. But what the fuck is Seiya? Ooh, okay, and she's dead now. It's fine. Should have just let her fall, man. I don't care about this girl. So, like, if it's not enough, then what? Like, what could we do then? But Seiya we're talking about. Exactly, he'll figure out a way. Yeah, that's what I thought he would do, just fly. That's what I'm assuming too. Okay, he's just this is death flags now. Bro is fucking you can't monologue like this and say you're the fastest and you're the strongest. You're already done. Where is he? Maybe he doesn't even need to fly up. Maybe he's still down below and he'll just still snipe at this distance, but then what? That's right, he said his signature line. Where is he? That's a lot of lights. Seven arrows at a time. Hey! That's Mitis' limit. We can only do five. This guy's too fucking fast, though. He even has a name for his dodge! No, this is still according to plan, though, right? This is still according to plan, right? So he did fly up. Wait, 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 From B... Shot it? Did it return? Did it, like, go beyond, then it returned from behind? Bur bur birds? We, we have light magic bows? We, we, we did have that phoenix bird before, but we have light birds now? When, when the fuck? You, 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 I'm, of course he can do it. Why am I even questioning? Yeah, sure. Fuck it, he has that skill. That was a little bit too easy. Kind of anticlimactic, but... Ready perfectly. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone! I, 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 I ain't gonna lie. That felt a little weak in terms of the climax of how it should have been solved. I, I don't know. Usually knowing a show like this, somehow say, uh... Resolves it in a way that we would never think about or in a way that is like super hyped. I feel like... The arrows, like compared to before, a, a little bit weaker, I guess. I don't know. Is it, is it the fact that he didn't use some kind of super OP technique? He, he did kind of catch us off guard, right? It, 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 it is the fucking light arrows. We reached like the, the... Then again, we did reach like the fucking pinnacle of a god goddess's limits. Like seven in a row and then made it into like heat-seeking like light birds. But 
Ah, something about that felt a little off. I feel like that wasn't supposed to be the conclusion. Like, I don't know. Automatic Garuda. Maybe I spoke too quick. Maybe Say is about to explain to us, and what I just said is going to be invalidated. No, it's not that. It's okay, the fucking name is called Boomerang Birdie Boom Boom. What's Boomerang? He just, he just made it up. I like that skill. Boomerang Birdie Boom Boom. B B B B. Show her a little bit of chivalry right now. Just shoot her in the face. This blue girl... girl. No, we should fucking do exactly what the, the fly does, you know? We should do reverse firework right now. Lift her up and drop her. Literally just do that. Oh, yeah. Her dad. That couldn't leave the capital for some reason. Come on. Do something. This pooch? She, she acts like a dog again? Eruru! Bark. Come on, bark. She's annoying. I hate them. We should have never saved them, man. Oh, yeah, there's more work to do. I forgot. Huh? They gotta do all the cleanup? Imagine editor has to do the cleanup. <laughs> Say I already killed a fly. He's done. True? Reverse psychology, bro. How did we just turn it around? They're like, what? We gotta do this shit? We know that. I, I know that you've been training. You got new skills. Now show me what you can do. Oh my god, see ya! <laughs> Dumbass kids. You're being used. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, that animation is hilarious. <laughs> Never mind. They're not gonna get a chance to fucking do it, dude. Ready, perfectly. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. Oh. Oh, I should have known. Of course he's not gonna let them take him up. They're just being used to collect the fucking falling loot. It's a literal cleanup, so they're still bag carriers. Using their new skills. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Nothing like child labor, guys. They gotta earn their living. <laughs> Good job, bag carriers. Oh, we haven't had this in a long time. Nuke them all. Glorify broom. Feel bad for these kids, man. Oh my god, you again. Yeah, you are so ungrateful. Fuck you. But you know what? No, you irritate me. First a legendary sword, now a legendary armor. Hey, we don't probably don't we probably don't need it, but that's interesting. It's probably gonna go along the same way with Exacion, the ultimate weapon, right? We're probably not gonna get it due to some fucked up reason. God, you're so annoying. Could be, who knows? True. God, I hate this girl, dude. They keep talking about her dad. She, he can't leave the capital. Why? I hope this get, girl gets bullied in the future, man. We should have not saved her. I hate her. That's right. Mitis was technically a phase one boss into the flies. Technically, that, that's, that is true. We had to fight a goddess first. Nah, your MP's still probably fine. Remember the one time he spammed Meteor? And he was only like 20% out of mana. And he was like, oh my god, I gotta refill. Disaster. Heavenly King? Ooh. Oh shit, Christ rolling. No ending? No ending? Saya saving the merchant. You summoned this? What? Who the fuck are you? Why did you summon a demon from another world? Oh, it's a heavenly king. It's a heavenly king. Bald! Bald! We got another baldy here. All right, we got a demon king's forces for heavenly king's... Kill Kapool. He's a summoner. Kill Kapool. Summon yourself some hair, He's been watching us the entire time. He's right. 
He's absolutely correct about this. You are nothing but a menace. I absolutely agree with this. <laughs> Say it is a menace. <laughs> oh, what is it? Is that the armor? Oh, the legendary armor has been destroyed. Ah, this guy's actually thinking. He's metagaming. I mean, why do we need the armor? Do we really need the ultimate sacred armor? Do we really need the weapon exhaustion? I feel like Seiya doesn't need that shit, man. Nah, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Don't tell him that. Don't tell him that. Don't tell him that he has slim chances right now because he's about to port back to the other fucking dimension. We're not going to get this fight until season four of this series. Please, please. And cliffhanger. That's the episode, man. Like, um, I feel like the battle against the flies was kind of a letdown. I mean, it wasn't supposed. I, I, I felt like the beginning got a stuff with Mitis. That was pretty funny. And like, even the stuff after Bilbub died of just like cleaning up, cleaning up the fucking, you know, the rest of the flies by using Mash and Eridu as like a, as like a broom was more entertaining and funnier to me. Like, like I, this, this fly scene, it's not that important, right? But I felt like, yeah, th this guy was a pretty mid fight, but everything else around him, pretty fucking good episode yeah they kind of hyped up the fly guy only for him to just go down like little did i know the real thing to focus was this goddess here this goddess was fucking wild and out i can't believe what she was saying bro these subtitles are insane and again if she straight up said a shota will be fine imagine if the roles are reversed and a guy said a lolly will be fine like oh, that's why double standards exist but that's it from me if you're still here if you didn't enjoy this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time Take care.